Hey guys, welcome back to the Cobb Barnuminium. We're going to be doing a two-piece video today. We're going to look at our uh, laundry room update. We're going to take a look at our uh, pond that we use to harvest clay from because we had a, uh, a follower ask a question about it on the Permies forum where... Uh, we blog under the name Johnny Cobbins. So, uh, like I said, let's take a look at the laundry room. We'll go take a look at the pond next. We're coming along pretty well on the laundry room. We've bought our last windows, and uh, we will install them pretty soon. The one right there in the back, you can see this guy. We'll go left to right all the way across this, and then we'll fill in the top. And that uh, door over there probably get installed today. What we did install recently is this window. We just didn't want to fill in the co I mean the wall because if you can see from where I'm standing, and we do a 180. Here is a huge panel of windows, and kind of diagonal in that way is our pantry. So what we didn't want is to lose this beautiful view of all the forest here. So I bought some windows. That way this door, this window, these two windows, and this set of four windows right here would allow the view of the forest to permeate this whole corner of this 10 by 10 room. So uh, this is where we're at right now. Most of y'all have seen. Right. Oh, yeah. I took the, uh, you see the rugs over there. I took the rugs off. They just weren't doing it for me. Um, the ease of use wasn't there. So, oh, hey. Let's go ahead and take a look in here. So the ease of use wasn't there. So we're gonna do a hatch style opening. And then obviously these two windows here are, um, I bought these because it's a five foot tall window and I will allow my laundry to go out one of these windows via a pulley. So this is what our laundry room is looking like right now. Let's go ahead and pan around the outside so we can get a real view of it. We will torch all of these 2x12s with the same method. Using a propane torch. There it is. All of the walls will look like that. This uh, obviously is our outdoor shower area. And even this wall will get some of these real colorful rock climbing blocks. We're going to increase the uh, difficulty as we go higher and around this corner. So now, let's go take a look at our pond. We chose to build a pond on this property for many reasons, some of them permaculture based. We have gardens and we have tr uh, fruit trees on this property. Um, and we have a natural drainage that's kind of counterintuitive to the building site that we built. So we did add the pond for that. But really, one of the biggest benefits has been to the creation of this cob house. So you can see all this here, 20 foot tall walls, 18 inches thick, uh, thousands of cubic yards of cob. 
and the clay had to come from somewhere. So we did actually dig kind of a pit, but uh, early on we crushed it by hand or we soaked it for many, many weeks. And we wanted to keep the consistency, uh, you know, even. We wanted to start with the same mix we ended with. I did find out in the middle that there is a biopolymer that's made when you allow your cob to ferment so your clay gets old and disgusting. Our milk chocolate clay turns into kind of a, a gray looking mixture. And I think that does increase how hard it gets, but still, we wanted to start our 20 foot walls the same and end them the same. Three to one ratio for the most part, extremely raw clay and sand with a little organic matter. In the end, I did find out many, many things, but we started with the lake extracted clay, like I uh, saw many African tribes and certain building projects in certain African countries. At the end of the rainy, se I mean, at the end of the dry season, they would collect the clay, use it to cover mosques and temples and their own houses and things like that, and it cut down hundreds and hundreds of hours of us making uh, cob. For those who are asking how we make our cob so easily with just two people, a, uh, it's right there, uh, a mortar mixer. This is a 10 person crew. We make uh, about 10 five gallon buckets of cob in about 20 minutes with that. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna pause it and let's go take a look at the pond. This pond we have behind us is not 100% the creation of taking clay to make our cob house. Obviously you can see there's a nice bank and behind us I've mimicked my neighbor's fence line with a stack of clay because we needed to make our pond deeper. But about a third of this pond was actually used just to harvest clay. We did it with a shovel straight into a five gallon bucket and uh, sometimes we transferred it with the tractor. But you can see uh, you know, we are catching overland runoff in our pond. It's a little dirty right now. Our mesquite trees are in blossom. But it's a great, great resource that we get to have for both agriculture, agriculture and building purposes. And it's a beautiful addition to our property. It reduces the need to have 10 people, 20 people working at any one time. And uh, it is also a butterfly uh, sanctuary and a bird sanctuary item. I am a bee, excuse me, I'm a bee farmer. And this pond has really just worked well with many, many items on our property. So. I hope this helps y'all understand what we're doing here. Y'all have a fantastic day. Permies blog readers, thank you very much. And my YouTube subscribers, thank y'all very much. Have a great day.